hi guys welcome back to my channel I am so happy to have you guys back in this video today I will be showing you how I create this beautiful modern flower stand crystal lighted wedding centerpiece you do not want to miss out on how I put this centerpiece together so please stay tuned watch the full video and watch how I assemble this beautiful masterpiece also if you love what you see on this channel please don't forget to subscribe to this channel don't forget to comment below your thoughts and don't forget to share it with a friend and please follow me in my Facebook group where you can share your wonderful creative ideas in that group we in that group motivating one another to help each other take it to the next level the link to my Facebook group will be in the description below so please check that out if you have any questions on any of the items that I use I will be listing it in the description below so please don't hesitate to check the description box below now let's get into the video okay guys now we're going to on to the measuring process so the only reason why I'm just measuring it is just to be sure that I'm placing my acrylic rod onto my pixie sheet correctly okay because i want to make sure that everything falls in line it just makes the process a lot easier now if you're really good at measuring it by yourself without no measuring tape or anything or measuring ruler or anything like that then by all means do it without it i think this board makes it super easier on where i'm going to be placing my acrylic rod if you want to know where i got this board from i purchased it off amazon the pixie glass is super clear it looks literally like glass it's so so beautiful I love how it looks it is a 12 by 12 inches okay now we're gonna go ahead with the measuring process okay guys now that I mark both of them with the ruler that I had so as you can see, they both are marked. You can see like a little dot here, a little dot there, a little dot here, a little dot there. That just helps me on where I'm going to be placing my acrylic rods on my pixie sheet, okay? Now, what I'm going to use, I, I remember in the last video when I had used this acrylic glue, as you can see, I'm almost finished. I don't have that much more left. I'm going to go ahead. I had bought these little syringes also from Amazon. They just made these little syringes really makes the process a lot easier for me so that I can distribute the glue evenly and nicely where I won't make a mess because this glue is super, super, super watery. Okay, and you have to use it with extreme caution because you don't want to get it all over the place because it's so watery. So all I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to go ahead and put it in a little syringe. I'm going to put a little bit of dab on where I'm going to be placing my acrylic rock and then so forth. Before adding the plexus sheet on top of the acrylic rods, you will see that I went ahead and added the crystal garlands. I put them in different length, however length you would like to place the crystal garland is fine. But how I attached it, I just used my acrylic glue and used the tip of the crystal garland and just stick it underneath the plexus sheet. That is all that I did in order to get the crystal garland to hang the way it's hanging right now. Now, my centerpiece is all dried up, and you guys, I must say that I am in love, in love, in love with the outcome of this centerpiece. I'm in love. This acrylic centerpiece is about two feet tall. Okay, so it's pretty, pretty tall. Okay, and I'm, 
and love you guys it looks so beautiful it literally looks like glass kid you not acrylic is really a good alternative for glass it's super pretty it's super elegant and it will be a great great statement piece for you any event that you have and i am just in love and it's under budget nowadays for those type of centerpieces they are charging an arm and a leg to rent or to purchase these type of centerpieces and to be able to make it under budget is everything.